welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Natalie and I make videos all about Gibraltar. And in today's video, we are going to be speaking about rental prices in Jib. I've had a load of comments on my channel, Instagram and Facebook for a lot of UK expats who are planning to move to Jib and are just asking about the rental prices. So if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up at the end and please remember to subscribe. And yeah, let's get into the video. So if you guys have been following me from the start, especially on Instagram, you would know I've been in Gibraltar for just over a year now. So I have somewhat experience on how to find a property to rent here, the documents you need to provide, etc. And currently we are in a studio apartment. Now studios in Gibraltar are quite small, but they are perfect for a single person or a working couple. We would like to move into a bigger space. So just a one bedroom will be fine for us. And I would love Love to take you on my journey about how I go about it. So Gibraltar is a small piece of land and there are a load of experts who are looking to relocate into Jib. So the population is slowly increasing and you can imagine that any properties that are listed on the market will be taken within a few weeks. Rent in Gibraltar is very expensive compared to the cost of living here. So if I break this down for you, the wages in Gibraltar are much lower than the UK as a whole and the cost of living is a little bit higher than the UK as well due to the import and duty fees. So for example in Morrison's there are some products there that are more expensive than the UK Morrison's because of the import if that makes sense. So if you do the maths then living in Gibraltar and renting in Gibraltar is... I don't know how to put it. <laughs> I don't know how to put it but you could do the maths, right? A studio apartment will range from about 800 to just over 1,300. And then if you were to go to a one bedroom apartment, they can vary from just over a thousand pounds all the way up into 2,000 pounds. This also depends on the type of build. So if it's a new build or an older build and dependent on the location you are in. For example, if you are in Ocean Village, the rental prices are definitely going to be much higher than if you were to go further down south. But what makes up for the rental prices in Jib is definitely the bills. The bills here are much cheaper than the UK and because there is no gas in Gibraltar, you're only going to be paying for water and electric. So for example, as a working couple in a studio, our water and electric bills average from about £50 a month. Our Wi-Fi bill is around £40 a month. We did get a discount on our first year living here, so I'm not sure if that's a thing that they do in Gibraltar, but don't take my word for it. We have set ourselves a budget of £60 a week for our food shop. Now that does vary from month to month. But what I'm trying to do is give you an overall idea on how much you should budget for your monthly outgoings. So yeah, on to the next point. So depending on who you're liaising with, whether it's a private landlord or an agency, you may need to provide certain documents. So when we moved into the studio, we were dealing with an agency and they required our last three months of payment or proof of savings. If you are self-employed like myself, then I just needed to provide confirmation of my um, business registration and income statements so I could prove that I could pay the rent. They wanted a copy of our passports and our previous address and I think that was it. But again, depending on who you are dealing with, they would be able to tell you what documents you need to provide. So having said all of this, a lot of people who relocate here decide to live across the border in La Linea and then commute into Jib for work. But please bear in mind that living in La Linea and commuting to work into Jib, you do have to pay taxes in both countries. So in Gibraltar and in Spain. Also, I won't get into it too much because that will be another in-depth video, but the residency applications do change if you are living in La Linea and working in Jib. But we'll get into that in another video. Sorry guys, I had to put down my blinds. The sun is getting brighter and brighter. I'm in front of my balcony window at the moment, so it's just like blaring in my face. But anyways... Um, where to look for properties. There are multiple platforms where you can look for properties. If you were to just Google rentals in Gibraltar, there would be a list 
of estate agents that you can choose from. And if you didn't know that Gibraltar has a Facebook group for everything. So if you were to look on Facebook for rentals in Gibraltar, then you can also find pages there where you can look for rentals available to rent. So as I said at the beginning of this video, I would love to take you on my journey with me of finding a new place in Jib. And I just want to give a massive shout out to Keith at finderproperty.gi. I will definitely link his details down below. So if you are looking for a new property and currently living in Jib or relocating, then please give him a shout. He is so super helpful and his service is mwah. I'm so happy that we are in contact. He also will be able to give you much more information because he's much more knowledgeable about this topic. But I will be taking you on my journey with me. And yeah, like I said, I'll link his details below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe so you don't miss a video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.